The election may be over, but the hysteria surrounding it is not. The latest example, on Sunday, police say a 35-year-old man walked into a Washington pizza restaurant called Comet Ping Pong with a gun. He didn't make any eye contact with anybody. He didn't ask for any help. Police allege Edgar Welch fired one shot into the ground. He told police he traveled from North Carolina to investigate claims that the restaurant was really a front for a child sex ring connected to Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton and her chief of staff, John Podesta. The unproven allegations of a secret sex ring organized by Clinton and Podesta have been circulating since before the U.S. election. The connection to the pizza restaurant is rooted in the Podesta emails published by WikiLeaks. The Podesta emails show coordination between the restaurant and campaign for a fundraiser. But users on the website Reddit using the hashtag Pizzagate in recent weeks exploded with allegations the restaurant was fronting something more nefarious. Reddit shut down the thread. But others, including President-elect Trump's national security advisor, Michael Flynn, and his son, are keeping the hashtag alive. Michael Flynn Jr. tweeting, Until Pizzagate proves to be false, it'll remain a story. The left seems to forget the Podesta emails and the many coincidences tied to it. The owner of Comet Ping Pong says the viral allegations have hurt his business and put lives at risk. Promoting false and reckless conspiracy theories do come with consequences. And I hope that those that are involved with fanning these flames will take a moment to contemplate what happened here today. The restaurant owner says prior to the incident, he and his employees had been threatened on social media for weeks. Nearby businesses report similar stories shocking those in the community. What seems to be such ridiculous kind of uh, story can seem to have any kind of hold on people and bring people to potential violence is really shocking. That's why neighbors are now rallying around the business in an effort to try and insulate from the partisan passions and conspiracies increasingly pervasive in a post-election United States. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.